I want to hear your voice. You want to hear my voice? Okay, here yes. it is. I'm going to do it for Boss Talk 101. Here hey. it is. Fool, one day you hear, and then you go gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One day you hear, baby, and then you go gone. One day you hear, baby, and then you go one yeah, man. Man. You made a tear from Listen, my man. eye, don't do oh, that. Oh, I used to be in that old, in that old Cadillac I had, boy. I was coming down through there, boy, when I had that thing rumbling. You don't understand, man. Say, when I come through there, man, you couldn't tell me nothing, man. I, and I was going to get in some trouble back then. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, you know, I was I was a young cat then, you know. So, uh, yeah, I was going to jail or something that day. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. How long after that did you meet, um, uh, how did you end up linking with uh, UGK? UGK uh, heard Al D's album. Okay. And uh, he was going to do some stuff with Screw. Okay, and he Pimp asked, C? Yeah, Pimp C was. He was going to do some stuff with Screw. So he said, Screw, man, who is this Who is this guy sound like the, the Osley brothers? So Screw said, that's my god dad. He said, no, man. He said, yeah. Can you get him? He said, yeah, call him. He'll come right over. As a matter of fact, he just left. Wow. He said, man, I got a song. So he played the song, Ain't I Been Good to You by the Osley Brothers. Okay. And uh, I listened to it. I said, yeah, I know that whole song. You know. So he said, uh, well, man, uh, I got a track that I want you to do. And he had sampled the Live It Up song. I mean, Ain't I Been Good to You on the Live It Up album. Okay. And I said, yeah. He said, you think you can do something with that? I said, sure. I said, but don't don't play it because I don't want to get in trouble with Ronald. I say, we'll come up with the right words, and, you know, I can kind of, you know, do it. He said, okay. So it took me about five minutes, and I uh, I sung what I thought would go on the track. Yeah. And they loved it. UGK mm. loved it. They jumped. They said, man, let's, let's, let's record it. Let's go to Skip Holman in the morning and record it. So I said, okay. So when he said Skip Holman, I'm, I'm thinking it's just a – a studio in a house or something like that. But when I got out there, it was a million dollar studio. Ooh, wow. So now I get nervous. I'm like, whoa, man, what is this? Man, this man had a mixing console probably wall to wall in there, probably over, over 150 tracks on the board. So I'm like, okay, this is the big league. This wow. is Wow, <laughs> you like, I, this is it? I gotta, you this, know, this, this, what, is, the, this is what they shooting yeah, for. Yeah, man, so now I kind of get a little cocky. And I say, so all right. So I'm singing the song, so everybody's telling me how to do it. So now I realize. Now this is the one. The one. This nope. is one day. Yeah. yeah. So I realized that man, uh, you can't sing. You can't sing. Y'all, y'all trying to tell me how to sing. Exactly. So Skip Holman said, "I like that. Can everybody get out of the studio? And let him do what he do." Pimp, she said, "That's the best thing to do. Let him do him." So I, I said, like right. that. So I, I, I did the song, and uh, it was like in probably about three or four minutes. I finished the song. That's and, cool. Uh, they was all gone to lunch, and when they came back, it was a wrap. I was sitting outside by the pool, and I hear all this screaming and hollering and jumping, man. And so they all come outside. I said, man, come back up. I said, what's going on? I said, y'all don't like it? He said, no, it's a hit. We love it. So I'm like, okay, I guess it's going to be official. Well, some kind of way that song got out. Okay. You know, because they mouse it right then. Some kind of way that song got out. And me and Pimp ride, and we going home, and and the song come on the radio. That same day? That same day. That's one thing. Um, I don't know. Renetta was saying thing. something like that about, yeah. which one, which song was it? Uh, Bar Baby. Bar Baby. Bar Baby. Yeah. it came out and like that, too. Yeah. And it just, nobody does that anymore, not in the same day. Yeah. How how does that, how well, is that guys, possible? Man, these guys was professional. They I mean, get they knew how to put them, do them, play, call yeah. the playlist now. And, and, and Pimp was just <laughs> incredible in the studio working with him. So he already pretty much knew what he wanted. Oh, so you know, and, and him and Bumby uh, was incredible. That's all I can say about those guys. Special Bumby, he was the type of guy he could write his verse and read it and ball it up and throw it in trash, go to sleep, mm. and wake up. Pimp said, "Bum, go go lay your verse," and he go one take and it's done. Mm. So he he was one of the guys that I first seen do that, and I was like. That young man is amazing. That young man got a gift. So wow. I always said Bond was for his time because he was 
so good with words, and uh, he could write write stuff and just kill it. Man, kill it. You want that one day? You want to hit that one? <laughs> Please. <laughs> one day? Y'all, yeah. you, you, want, you want to hear the acapella? You want to hear acapella. the music? Or acapella. Do you wanna, right. do you, you wanna... know I want an acapella. Don't do that. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you wanted it with an orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want to hear your voice. You want to hear my voice? Okay, here yes. it is. I'm going to do it for Boss Talk 101. Here hey. it is. Fool, one day you hear. And then you go gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One day you hear, baby. And then you go gone. One day you hear, baby. And then you go Man, man. Man. See, you made a tear come Listen, to my man. eye. Don't do boy, that. Boy, I used to be in that old in that old Cadillac I had, boy. I was mm -hmm, coming down mm -hmm. through there, boy, when I had that thing rumbling. <laughs> you don't understand, man. Say, when I come through there, man, you couldn't tell me nothing, man. I, and I was going to get in some trouble back then. You going to get in oh, some man. trouble, Oh, man. Oh, yeah. You know, I was I was a young cat then, you know. So, uh, yeah, I was going to jail or something that day. Oh, your, <laughs> your voice is, and this, it, it, <laughs> I'm speechless, but it it comes down in your in Renetta. Her voice was just so effortless Different, when she man. sang. It was just so effortless, and that's the same thing with your voice. You hit those notes, and it's like there's no fault in your voice. No, oh, thank you. Thank so yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Yeah, we gonna talk.